there's times when legislation is going to come up that is in your area. How do you handle that? You have to very, very carefully. You really do. Uh, there, we don't practice enough <coughs> recusing of ourselves when, when, when we're voting on things. And people just plow right on ahead. But it's not as easy as it sounds. If it was, an attorney legislator couldn't hardly vote on anything. Hmm. They represent all these different entities. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they would find themselves not voting on many, many, many issues because they're involved in many, many issues. That's good. One of the things that I think, to your credit, is that you, everybody knows you're a car dealer. Yeah. And I don't make I know, any, I know I part of your, I know part of your speech was that you're a Cadillac dealer, but this is good for the economy. Well, it's good for it's good for the car buyer. I don't pay the taxes. I don't pay one dime of anybody's property tax. And what? Why would it not be good for the state? Because what happens when somebody trades a eight-year-old car in on a one, on a brand new car? The the city, the state collects a hell of a big chunk of sales tax, plus more property tax. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course it's good. If we could get stir up a business, not just on car sales, but on everything else that we sell in this state, and get more and more people to buying things and doing it, it would be great for the economy. And the government would get more money, the schools would get more money, everybody would.